Okay, this is a little demonstration of setting up um, public key authentication to a reflection for secure IT server on Unix and the client that I'm using is the brand new reflection for Unix Android client. So that's been installed out of the Play Store and I'm going to launch it. So the first thing I want to do after it launches is create an identity file. And that's down here at the bottom. I'm going to manage identities and I'm going to create a new identity um, that I am going to call root key zero. It's going to be used with the username root and I need to create a key for it. I click key management and I'm going to give it the name, the same name. I don't have to do that. I can give it any name I want to, but I'm just keep things straight in my head. The key is going to be root key a zero and I am going to give it a passphrase. So I'm done with that. And now I need to generate this new key. So when that key key completes I get a uh, message that that's happened and I can now go look at it and the reason I want to look at it is I want to copy the public key into the clipboard and actually create a file with that as its contents on the Unix or Linux server so I copy that to the clipboard and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ES file explorer which is a, a utility that I've installed um, and that will allow me just to uh, connect using a connection that I've made already to that server. Now you can connect to your server and pass this information any way you need to. If you got FTP, you know, you want to paste into a terminal, whatever. So when I connect to that server and go into the root directory, I cannot get to the .ssh uh, directory by default. So I'll just create the file right here. So I hit plus to create a new file. And I'm going to call that root key zero dot pub. Right? And then when I click on it, it says, how do you want to open that? I open it as a text file and I edit it and I paste that content out of the clipboard. Complete editing, save it with Unix terminators. This is a Unix system. And then when I go back, it says, do you want to save it? Well, of course I do. And now all I need to do is go onto that system and, uh, you know, move that uh, file where it belongs. So I go back here, back to reflection, and I'm done here. I need to save that identity that I've created, and then I go back and I make the connection. So I tap to connect. And I connect to that same system, csesuse.attachmate.com. And I use the identity I just created. Now, the first time I connect, it's going to try to use a passphrase against a key that doesn't exist. So I can I, I just basically have to fall through that, or I can configure to turn that off. Uh, I'll just fall through by hitting and then it will prompt me for the root password so I can go up and move that uh, file that I just created. So I connect, respond about the authenticity, and here's the passphrase. So cancel, 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 ask me for the root password. So I enter the root password, I click OK, and there I'm in. Now let me just turn this so we can see it a little better. So, now, the file that I created, if you remember, was that root key zero dot pub. That needs to go into the dot ssh2 directory. So, I'm going to move root key zero dot pub into dot ssh2. And then in that directory, we notice that uh, we need to reference that in the authorization file. So it's not there right now. The easiest way to get that there is echo key root key to pub into the authorization file. And now we see it there. So now if I exit here so now I'm going to rec 
connect and hopefully get the passphrase right so that I connect with the key. So it's now asking me for the passphrase. Passphrase, I click OK and I'm connected. Just that easily.